In this video, I will demonstrate the importance of transmuting your sexual energy when it comes to generating wealth. Make sure to take notes or re-watch this video to really internalize the lessons if you have the strong desire to manifest wealth into your life. It could change your life. You have to understand that you're harnessing your life force when you retain your seed. This life force comes with a tremendous energy if you let it build up inside you in the labyrinth of human experience where spirituality meets the material. A profound secret has been whispered across ancient traditions and echoed through modern wisdom. The conservation of sexual energy as the foundational key to building lasting wealth. Sexual energy is often viewed as a powerful and primal force in human beings. It's not just about physical intimacy, but is also seen as a driving force for creativity, vitality, and life force. In many spiritual and philosophical traditions, sexual energy is believed to be a key component of one's overall life energy, or chi. So let's start by reflecting on the philosophy of sexual conservation and transmutation. The idea of conserving sexual energy comes from the belief that this energy, when not expended solely on physical gratification, can be redirected towards other areas of life, including personal growth, intellectual development, and wealth creation. This concept is similar in some ways to the principles found in certain practices like Tantra, or even in the more modern concept of transmutation of energy as suggested by Napoleon Hill in his famous book, Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill reintroduced a groundbreaking concept in his seminal work, Think and Grow Rich. He proposed the idea of transmutation, specifically focusing on the transmutation of sexual energy into creative and productive pursuits. Hill's insights delve into the depths of human psychology and motivation, particularly highlighting the potent force of sexual desire and its potential to be redirected for achieving personal and professional greatness. Transmutation refers to the process of transforming sexual energy, which he deemed the most powerful of human desires, into other forms of expression and creativity. According to Hill, sexual desire is not only a basic biological drive, but also a source of immense energy that, when harnessed correctly, can lead to extraordinary achievements in various fields. Hill emphasized the intensity and power of sexual desire, noting how it can evoke a range of qualities such as keenness of imagination, courage, willpower, persistence, and creative ability. These qualities, he believed, are often amplified in the pursuit of sexual fulfillment. Hill observed that the pursuit of sexual contact could drive people to take significant risks, underlining the compelling nature of this force. The crux of Hill's theory lies in redirecting this potent energy away from physical expression and towards other creative and productive avenues. He posited that when sexual energy is harnessed and channeled into activities like literature, art, or any profession, it retains its powerful attributes. This redirection does not diminish the energy's intensity, but rather repurposes it into a force for creative and constructive endeavors. The concept of transmuting sexual energy can be applied to various domains. In literature and art, this energy can manifest as heightened creativity and innovation. In business and entrepreneurship, it could translate into increased determination, resilience, and vision. Hill particularly highlighted the role of this transmutation in the accumulation of riches, suggesting that the qualities amplified by sexual desire could significantly contribute to financial success when properly directed. 
Hill's theory extends beyond mere financial success. It encompasses overall personal and professional development. By mastering the art of transmutation, individuals can potentially unlock a higher level of creativity and productivity. This mastery involves not only understanding one's desires, but also developing the discipline to channel them into more fruitful endeavors. While Hill's ideas were revolutionary at his time, they have found various applications in modern self-help and personal development strategies. Many successful individuals across different fields have echoed similar sentiments about the power of channeling one's energy and focus into their passions and professional pursuits rather than solely on physical or material gratification. So, his concept of transmutation, particularly of sexual energy, presents a fascinating orientation when it comes to human motivation and achievement. It suggests that the deepest, most primal desires can be a source of immense power when redirected constructively. Hill's insights offer a unique lens through which to view personal development, creativity, and the pursuit of success, providing a timeless strategy for harnessing one's innermost energies towards achieving greatness in various aspects of life. Here are some concrete examples how the transmutation of sexual energy translates directly into your life to help you attract and generate massive wealth, increased focus and discipline. Redirecting. Sexual energy is believed to enhance one's ability to focus and maintain discipline. This can be seen in the lives of successful individuals who prioritize their goals and channel their energies toward achieving them. For example, a startup founder might use their drive and energy to work long hours, innovate, and push through challenges, which can eventually lead to building a successful and wealthy business. Enhanced creativity. Many artists, writers, and creatives have spoken about periods of abstinence leading to heightened creativity. This can be attributed to the redirection of sexual energy into creative endeavors. A painter or a musician, for instance, might channel their passionate energy into their art, leading to masterpieces that could earn them substantial wealth and recognition. Improved physical and mental health. The conservation of sexual energy is sometimes associated with improved physical and mental health due to better energy management. This can translate into enhanced productivity in business or career, leading to greater financial success. A healthy and energetic entrepreneur is more likely to make better decisions and seize opportunities effectively. Spiritual development and networking. In many cultures, the conservation of sexual energy is linked with spiritual growth. This spiritual aspect can lead to developing deeper relationships and networks, which are critical in the business world. Successful networking often leads to opportunities that can be financially beneficial. Long-term vision and patience. The practice of conserving sexual energy could foster a long-term vision and patience, essential traits for wealth building. For example, an investor who practices this discipline may develop the patience to wait for the right opportunity and the foresight to invest in ventures that promise long-term returns. Enhanced leadership qualities. Leaders who practice conserving their sexual energy might experience heightened charisma and influence. This can be especially beneficial in business environments where strong leadership can directly impact success and wealth generation. For instance, a CEO who channels their energy into their leadership role could inspire their team, drive innovation, and steer their company 
towards significant financial growth, emotional intelligence, and relationship management. By managing and conserving sexual energy, individuals might develop greater emotional intelligence. This can lead to better personal and professional relationships, which are essential for networking, collaboration, and building a successful career or business. For example, a sales professional with high emotional intelligence could forge better connections with clients, leading to increased sales and revenue, fostering innovation and problem-solving skills. The redirection of sexual energy towards intellectual pursuits can potentially foster better problem-solving abilities and innovation. This is particularly relevant in fields like technology, science, and entrepreneurship, where innovative thinking can lead to groundbreaking discoveries, patents, and lucrative business ventures. Cultivating patience and strategic thinking, the practice of conserving sexual energy might also aid in developing patience and strategic thinking, both critical in wealth building and investment. An investor or a business person practicing this discipline may be more adept at analyzing market trends, waiting for the right investment opportunities, and making calculated decisions that lead to substantial financial gains, self-control, and risk management. The discipline involved in conserving sexual energy can translate into improved self-control in other areas of life, including financial decisions. This self-control is crucial in risk management, a key component of wealth building, especially in fields like stock trading or entrepreneurship, where impulsive decisions can lead to significant losses. Conserving sexual energy is absolutely vital to maximize your true potential. It emphasizes discipline, creativity, health, spiritual growth, and long-term vision, all of which are important factors in achieving financial success and personal fulfillment. As with any philosophy, the effectiveness and applicability of these ideas can vary greatly depending on the individual and their beliefs. Using conserved sexual energy as a catalyst for wealth creation is your number one cheat code which intertwines physical, emotional, and spiritual elements. It promotes a holistic approach to personal development, emphasizing the importance of discipline, creativity, emotional intelligence, and strategic thinking, all crucial for achieving financial success and personal well-being. Now let's talk about the law of attraction and how it works when attracting abundance and financial success into your life. The law of attraction is a powerful concept, especially when applied to the realm of financial success and wealth accumulation. It posits that by aligning one's thoughts and energy with their desires, they can attract those desires into their reality. In the case of manifesting money, leveraging the law of attraction involves a transformation of one's mindset and beliefs about wealth. First, we need to make sure that we understand the law of attraction and money correctly. The fundamental premise of the law of attraction is that like attracts like. This means that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about money directly influence your ability to attract wealth. If you harbor negative or limiting beliefs about money, you inadvertently repel financial abundance. Here are some steps to leverage the law of attraction for wealth. First, identify and change limiting beliefs about money. Many people grow up with limiting beliefs about money, such as money is the root of all evil, money doesn't grow on trees, or I don't deserve to be wealthy. These beliefs are often internalized and can significantly hinder your ability 
to attract wealth. Addressing these beliefs is crucial. You can do this by recognizing that money is merely a tool or resource that can be used positively. Affirmations like, money flows easily and abundantly to me, or I am worthy of financial abundance can help reshape your mindset. Next, we need to visualize our success. Visualization is a powerful technique in the law of attraction. By visualizing yourself as already having the wealth you desire, you align your energy with that reality. Imagine living the life you want with the money you wish to have. Think about what you would do, how you would feel, and what your life would look like. This exercise not only motivates, but also helps in creating an abundance mindset. This is to develop an abundance mindset. Shift from a scarcity mindset where you see money as limited and hard to acquire to an abundance mindset. Recognize that there is plenty of wealth to go around and that you can attract money into your life. People with an abundance mindset see money as a tool to create more wealth and opportunities rather than something to be hoarded. It is important to always remain grateful for everything that you have. Practicing gratitude is a core component of the law of attraction. Be thankful for the money you already have, as well as for the opportunities to generate more income. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, creating a more positive and receptive mindset for attracting wealth. If you have this productive mindset in place, it's time to translate into action and opportunity. While the law of attraction focuses on mindset and beliefs, it's also important to take action and seize opportunities. Your action should align with your goals and the wealth you want to manifest. Be open to new opportunities and be willing to step out of your comfort zone to achieve financial success. Remember, without action, you can't expect success. But fortunately, once the correct mindset is in place, you will strengthen your intuition and know what steps you need to take next. The principles of the law of attraction have been used by many successful individuals. They attribute their financial success to a combination of a positive mindset, visualization, gratitude, and proactive pursuit of their goals. These individuals often share stories of how changing their thoughts about money directly impacted their ability to generate wealth. Manifesting money using the law of attraction is not just about wishful thinking, it's about transforming your mindset, practicing gratitude, visualizing your goals, and aligning your actions with your aspirations. By doing so, you can shift your energy to resonate with abundance and attract the financial success you desire. Remember, it's a combination of belief, visualization, gratitude, and action that brings about real change and attracts wealth into your life. Let me tell you the story of the celibate entrepreneur of Suresh Shashi, who has built a multi-million dollar empire in his 20s by transmuting his sexual energy. The story of Sarvesh Shashi, a young Mumbai-based entrepreneur who has built a yoga and wellness empire worth approximately $15 million, provides a fascinating case study on how the conservation of sexual energy and its transmutation can lead to significant wealth and success. The Indian entrepreneur, at just 28 years of age, has achieved remarkable success in the wellness industry. He established over 35 yoga studios across India under the brand Sarva and designed 25 unique yoga styles, including basketball and paddleboat yoga. His lifestyle, marked by adherence to a set of strict prohibitions, including celibacy and semen retention, as advised by his yoga guru, 
is atypical, especially considering his substantial achievements at a relatively young age. He emphasizes the role of celibacy and semen retention. His practice of celibacy and semen retention is deeply rooted in ancient traditions, particularly in Taoism and yogic disciplines. These practices preach that controlling sexual urges and delaying ejaculation can significantly boost a person's spiritual energy and even enhance their sex drive. Over time, these principles have evolved and found resonance in modern movements and online communities. Sarvesh Shashi attributes a significant part of his success to his celibacy and the discipline it entails. According to him, semen contains potent energy that, when retained, can be redirected upwards to enhance mental faculties and focus. This practice is believed to remove distractions and sharpen one's focus towards achieving set goals. His guru emphasized that concentrating this energy on non-sexual desires empowers an individual to realize their aspirations. Despite his vows of celibacy, he acknowledges the naturalness of sexual desires. He emphasizes the importance of being aware of these urges and channeling them into productive activities. This control and redirection are not achieved overnight, but through gradual discipline and lifestyle changes, including yoga and meditation. Shashi's journey with celibacy has not been without challenges. Initially, he experienced feelings of suppression and irritability, common side effects of such a lifestyle. However, over time, he found himself feeling less drained, more energetic, and more mindful. He likens his experience to the clarity one gains from a vow of silence, realizing the unnecessary nature of certain actions and thoughts. Despite his lifestyle choice, the young entrepreneur does not shy away from exposure to sexual content, such as pornography or erotic scenes in media. He views his celibacy and semen retention as tools for greater mindfulness and a pursuit of fulfillment beyond sexual gratification. This approach has seemingly had little impact on his personal life as he feels content with the company of friends and people who support his life choices. He remains open to the possibilities of his future, including the prospect of sex and starting a family. He initially committed to a seven-year vow of celibacy, which he has extended to 13 years, finding no lack in his life due to this decision. Savesh Shashi's story is one of many illustrations of how ancient practices of celibacy and semen retention can be integrated into modern life, potentially leading to significant professional success and personal fulfillment. His journey highlights the potential power of personal discipline and the transformative effects of channeling one's energies towards higher goals. It certainly provides a compelling perspective on the link between sexual energy conservation, personal development, and achieving remarkable success in the business world. This story is similar to the story of one of the greatest tech entrepreneurs in history. We're talking about none other than Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, the iconic co-founder of Apple Inc., is renowned not only for his technological innovations, but also for his unique lifestyle choices, including the practice of semen retention. This particular aspect of his life though less discussed, compared to his business acumen, offers an intriguing glimpse into how he may have harnessed and transmuted his sexual energy into the creative and entrepreneurial force that drove one of the most successful tech companies in the world. Jobs' practice of semen retention was deeply intertwined with his broader philosophy of life, which emphasized minimalism self-discipline and control over physical desires 
He believed that by conserving his sexual energy, he could redirect and channel this powerful force into his work, thereby enhancing his creative and innovative capacities. In the case of Jobs, it is believed that he utilized this energy to fuel his intense focus, unparalleled creativity, and the relentless drive necessary to build and sustain a tech empire. Jobs' remarkable creativity and ability to innovate may be partly attributed to his practice of semen retention. The discipline required for such a practice could have contributed to an enhanced mental clarity, allowing him to think more innovatively and approach problems with a unique perspective. This mental clarity is often cited as a key factor in his ability to foresee future tech trends and create products that perfectly aligned with consumer desires. The level of discipline involved in semen retention is significant and reflects a broader theme in Jobs' life. Control over one's desires and impulses. This discipline is likely extended into his professional life where he was known for his meticulous attention to detail and his unwavering focus on his vision for Abley and its products. It's important to note that Jobs' practice of semen retention was part of a larger tapestry of his life that included a vegan diet, regular fasting, deep commitments to meditation and mindfulness, and an overall ascetic lifestyle. These practices collectively may have contributed to his extraordinary focus and revolutionary approach to technology and business. Steve Jobs' adoption of semen retention and the subsequent transmutation of sexual energy into creative and professional energy presents a fascinating aspect of his complex character. While not a conventional approach, it aligns with his reputation as a visionary who continually sought out unconventional methods to enhance his creativity and focus. This practice, alongside his other lifestyle choices, paints a picture of a man deeply committed to mastering his own inner world as much as he sought to revolutionize the outer world of technology and business. Sex transmutation is about channeling the energy that is naturally directed towards sexual expression into other creative and productive endeavors. However, this doesn't imply suppressing or eliminating sexual desires, which are natural and inborn, but rather giving them an additional beneficial outlet. Sexual desire is one of the most potent motivators in human behavior. It stimulates the mind, igniting enthusiasm, creative imagination, and a deep-seated intensity. This is why, according to Hill, when this energy is harnessed and redirected, it maintains its powerful attributes, which can be utilized as creative forces in various professional domains. Now let's talk about the impact on creativity and achievement. Like mentioned earlier, by redirecting sexual energy, individuals can transform what might otherwise be a momentary physical pleasure into a sustained and profound creative force. This process can elevate an individual from mediocrity to genius as this redirected energy fuels imagination, courage, persistence, and innovative thinking essential qualities for success in any field. Here are some practical methods for sex transmutation. Mental stimulation. Engaging the mind in thoughts of love and passion can elevate awareness and provide a temporary escape from mundane worries, leading to the birth of new ideas, goals, or plans. Visualization and focus. Concentrating on desired outcomes especially when in a heightened state of mental arousal, can lead to clearer visions and innovative solutions to challenges. Balancing physical and creative drives. Effectively managing 
The balance between physical sexual expression and creative outputs is key. This balance ensures that the sexual urge is neither suppressed nor overindulged, but is instead channeled into productive creativity. The connection between sex transmutation and wealth creation lies in the ability to harness the drive and fervor associated with sexual desire and apply it to the pursuit of financial and entrepreneurial goals. This heightened state of passion and focus is conducive to identifying opportunities, taking bold actions, and persisting through challenges. All critical elements in the journey to financial success. Many successful individuals across various fields have intuitively understood and applied the principle of sex transmutation. This secret, which lies in channeling one's creative urge manifested through sexual energy into their work or other creative endeavors, has been a hallmark of great inventors, artists, and successful people throughout history. The concept of transmuting sexual energy and the principles of the law of attraction, particularly in the context of wealth building and financial success, offer intriguing insights into how intangible forces and personal disciplines can potentially influence material outcomes. These philosophies, though diverse in their origins and applications, converge on the idea that our internal states, be it our mental focus, emotional energy, or sexual vitality, can significantly impact our ability to achieve external goals, including financial prosperity. The transmutation of sexual energy involves redirecting one of the most basic and powerful human drives into other forms of productive and creative expression. When channeled appropriately, this energy can enhance one's ability to think clearly, innovate, and persist in the face of challenges. Qualities that are undeniably valuable in the realm of entrepreneurship and wealth creation. The law of attraction posits that our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs have a direct bearing on our reality, including our financial circumstances. By cultivating a mindset of abundance, visualizing financial success, and fostering positive beliefs about money, individuals can attract wealth and opportunities. This mindset shift involves overcoming limiting beliefs, focusing on goals, and maintaining a state of gratitude, all of which are thought to align one's energy with the frequencies of prosperity and success. While the transmutation of sexual energy and the law of attraction are distinct concepts, they share a common thread in the belief that our internal states and energies play a crucial role in shaping our external experiences. Both philosophies advocate for a disciplined, intentional approach to personal energies, whether sexual, mental, or emotional, suggesting that mastering these can lead to greater success in wealth creation. In practice, these concepts have been applied by various successful individuals in history. Figures like Steve Jobs, who reportedly practiced semen retention, or countless entrepreneurs who swear by the law of attraction, exemplify how these principles can be integrated into one's lifestyle and business practices. These individuals often credit their success to a combination of disciplined personal energy management and a mindset attuned to their goals and aspirations. In conclusion, the transmutation of sexual energy and the law of attraction provide compelling frameworks for understanding how internal disciplines and mindset shifts can potentially influence one's ability to build wealth and achieve financial success. They offer a holistic approach to personal and professional development, emphasizing the power of harnessing and directing internal energies 
towards one's goals. These concepts continue to inspire and guide individuals, seeking to unlock their full potential in wealth creation and beyond. Keeping this in mind, be sure to not waste your seed of life on meaningless activities, but instead channel it into the most important endeavors of your life and build the life you were meant to have. Keep going.